Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Rudy Hernandez, and welcome to the Daily Bread series, a place where we offer food for your soul. Just like we feed our bodies with food, in a similar way, we will feed our souls by hearing the Word of God. In this program, I'm going to be sharing one or two Bible verses from the reading of the day to help you engage in a conversation with God, with our Lord. We then want to challenge you to seek deeper into the whole context behind it and ask God how to use his message in your life. At the end of the day, our main hope is to help you search, find, and share your purpose in life. So, let's get started. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. How is this verse speaking to your life? Make sure you write down any thoughts, feelings, or memories that you have. Type it in your notes or start a journal. I know this program is quick, so make sure that you check out the description to read the verses with me and take a look at the complete readings for the day. Don't give up. If you're not getting anything, Make sure to keep repeating the verse of the day in your heart until God reveals something to you. When Jesus was asked, which is the first of all the commandments? He replied, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Who do we love with all of our heart, soul, and mind? In the mornings, what is the first thing that we do or the person that we first talk to? Is it God? To get to my point, who or what are we trying to replace God with? Very recently, I heard a podcast and they were talking about the times that we feel empty. The host was saying that he didn't see it that way. He said that our emptiness was more of a desire for God and that we all carry a hole in our hearts the size of God. It's only until we have him that we can be fulfilled and our hearts truly begins to rest. Are you feeling restless? Are you feeling irritated and mad for no reason? Having trouble being patient and asking people for forgiveness? Maybe it's time that we all repent and come back to our God who is already waiting for us with open arms. Brothers and sisters, this has been The Daily Bread. See you tomorrow.